Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 5th of 2023. Well, it is titled Enceladus by Saturn shine. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the moons of Saturn as imaged by the Cassini spacecraft. And it was taken in 2011, more than a decade ago when the Cassini spacecraft was orbiting Saturn. And while it was studying the planet itself, it also had its orbit adjusted to be able to visit different moons and make close passes to them to give us a chance to study those as well. So here we see a detailed view of one part of that moon. And we see the moon itself is illuminated by what we call Saturn shine. Now most things that we see in the night uh, in the solar system are observed are, are illuminated by sunlight. And we see a little bit of the moon here as sunlight and that's off to the right hand side where we see a thin bright crescent of material that is actually directly illuminated by the sun. However, the rest of the moon here is actually illuminated by Saturn. So it is still sunlight because Saturn does not emit any light of its own. But it is light that goes from the sun reflects off of Saturn to the moon here and then in this case to the spacecraft. So we get to see it in this version as well. Now when we look at the moon we see that it has some very distinctive structures to it and in fact it has some areas much like our own moon it has some heavily cratered areas as we see up towards the top here uh, which means that those areas are older that they've been exposed to space for a longer period of time. We also see a number of newer regions and we can tell that much of this region is very young because of the big lack of craters on it. Essentially the way we can tell ages of an object is by how many craters it has on it. The younger the object is meaning that the more recently its surface has been reworked by either erosional forces or geological forces then the fewer craters it'll have that's the younger it will be and the more craters it has the longer it's been exposed and the more of a dead object it is. So our moon having lots of craters is a very dead object whereas Earth with very few craters is much more of a living and constantly changing changing world. So we see that Enceladus has a combination of both of these. And that is shows us that some of the regions have been worked much more recently, including the very deep canyon that is visible just down to the bottom here. And the interesting structures of the uh, the ridges that are up above that. And really, we still do not completely understand the structures and what is going on in Enceladus. But what we do know is that there is water below the surface. And in fact, we can see the remnants of icy volcanoes that have erupted material from the interior. If you look down below and just to the left of center off the edge of the moon itself, you can see that there are there is a material that has been uh, expelled from the interior and those are ice crystals that have been erupted out of the moon and probably from a sea o ocean of water down below the surface. So it's very interesting that we find a lot of water on many of these moons in the outer solar system, not just Enceladus, but other moons of Jupiter and Saturn as well. So that was our picture of the day for February 5th of 2023. It was titled Enceladus by Saturn shine. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be stars and dust. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.